Now you were writing your exam and your invigilator came in and he said time is up. Stop writing. Now what would you do? There is actually nothing you can do because time is up already. And no matter how much you've read, you've read so much, you, you've read so much and you actually knew the question you were given, but you are not up, you are not able to finish on time. And this actually happens to so, so many students and it has actually happened to me a lot of times until I got to know some things and I'll be sharing with you and I'll be sharing with you those things that are actually realized and I actually discovered that has actually helped me to manage my time very well. So without any further ado, I will try to share with you those things and how you can manage your time while writing your exam. So stick with me and watch to the end. I'll be right back. So welcome back everybody. My name is Abayomi and if you are new on this channel, please kindly subscribe to this channel because I post in videos on how students can improve in their academic. So if you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button. Now let's go into what we have today, how you can manage your time while writing your exam. I'll be sharing with you some starting points and if you can follow these points from the beginning to the end, you will actually You'll be able to to manage your time next time you are writing your exam so the first thing you should be able to take into consideration before you before you write any exam is get a wristwatch and most of the time your invigilator or the school management might not allow you to bring in your phone into the exam hall so it is very important for you to get a wristwatch or get a calculator that has a wristwatch on it so you'll be able to check the time you are supposed to finish a particular exam I've, having given that you've known the time you started the exam and given that you've known the duration of the the duration of how much how long the exam will take or when you start your exam so now the next thing is read your instruction now you might say okay i've said this before but instruction is very very vital and it's very very important whenever you want to start your exam the instruction has the time allowed for a particular exam and how much questions you are supposed to answer take for example you are given six questions in an exam and you are asked to answer four questions and you are given so 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 maybe you are given two hours for a particular exam now at this point you are put you are supposed to make some certain decision and that leads us to the next point which is make a quick decision now you are given a, an exam you've read the instruction you know the amount of questions you're supposed to answer in a particular exam and you know the time allowed for a particular exam now one thing you should do in order to manage your time and you'll be able to finish as fast as possible is to make a quick decision what do i mean by make a quick decision now you know it you know the time as opposed to you know the time allotted for that particular exam let's take for example you have two hours exam and you are asked to answer three questions out of four questions out of six questions now out of that four question out of that six question make sure you pick a pick questions that you are very sure of and you can do confidently and you can do as fast as possible rather than picking a question that you you might know them but you might not be able to do the question as fast as possible or you might not be able to give enough information on that so pick a question that will be very easy for you and you can pass with ease and you'll be able to do very fast than any other question that you might that might put you into problem while you are trying to, while you are trying to answer a particular exam and also not for example, let's take a multi-choice question. For example, you are given a multi-choice question. Take for example, you are given 50 questions in an exam and you have you are given two hours for that particular exam. Now, make sure you go for a question, go for questions that 
you know very well rather than staying longer on a question that you don't know very well and it will actually waste your time and by the time you go back to the ones that you know the adventure your the examiner might just say time is i mean the the vigilator might just say time is up and there's actually nothing you can do at that point so no matter how much you've read everything is a waste and you should be able to take take a very quick decision on that so the next point is go straight to the point now after making a quick decision on a question you're supposed to answer for a particular exam and if it's an essay question if it's an essay exam it's very important for you to go straight to the point you are given a question for example you have to you have to 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 discuss a particular concept in your exam or you have to to explain something just go straight to the point don't go and be explaining something that is relevant to what you are asked at that point points in time go straight to the point and give a quick detail of what your lecturer or your teacher wants you to answer and that will actually help you finish up on time and you'll be able to meet up with the time and as you do all this you have to be checking your time alongside and now you can you can you can make use of this 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 trick that i've actually used myself very much time and it has actually helped me while you are making your decision while you are making your decision give a particular time in which you make your decision don't take it too long because okay you are given you are given a one hour question and you just you 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 just suit you sat there and kept looking at the question paper for so long that you wasted all the time and by the time you started maybe the examiner said 20 minutes more so that's why i said make a quick decision and that quick decision you should suppose you are supposed to look at that questions quickly and pick the ones you can answer faster and better at a reduced time so that you'll be able to go back to the ones that you don't know so even if you answer those ones that you know well very well and you go back to the ones that you don't know even if they said time up you are actually safe because you've actually answered the ones you know very well and that and those ones will stand for you while the examiner is marking such exam so thank you so much for watching the video you can check other videos on how you can pass your exam exceedingly and excellently and also subscribe to this channel and smash like on this video if you got value from this video so thank you so much for watching this video see you next time